Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Wednesday the 6th of December. The Governor-General has delivered the traditional speech from the throne at Parliament, setting out the government agenda over the next three years. Dame Cindy Kiro read the words, which were written by the Prime Minister's speechwriters. In it, she says New Zealanders voted for change, not just of government, but also of policies and approach. This is the first time since New Zealand's mixed-member proportional electoral system came in nearly 30 years ago that there has been a three-way coalition government. The 24-year-old accused of a killing in Auckland's city centre in August has pleaded not guilty to murder. Sione Tuoloaki died in hospital after being shot on Queen Street. The shooter allegedly fled on a lime scooter. Joey Dwyer reports. Darius Talangi can now be named as the accused with interim name suppression lapsing in today's High Court appearance in Auckland. He was arrested last month after 15 weeks at large. His lawyer entered a not guilty plea on Talangi's behalf and he'll go to trial in February 2025. The mother of a lower hut toddler who died in October says she's now ready to tell police what happened before his death. Storm Wall has told our newsroom she saw the moment baby Roo was fatally injured and is willing to be re-interviewed by officers. He died in Hutt Hospital on October 22. Police have been investigating the three adults who lived at baby Roo's tighter home. Put people over profits. Profits, an open letter signed by 105 organisations describing the government's smoke-free law repeal as immoral. The letter follows the coalition agreement between National Act and New Zealand First to repeal smoke-free legislation. Health Coalition Aotearoa co-chair Professor Boyd Swinburne says the letter shows the depth of shock and anger felt by many. Auckland Mayor Wayne Brown is pushing for a quick resolution to move the 10-year budget process ahead. Council is deciding today which items from his proposal will go out for public consultation. Council reporter Jacob Jones has more. Proposals include a 7.5% rates rise next year, selling the remaining council-owned airport shares and a long-term lease for port operations. Brown opened proceedings, noting there had been more than 40 meetings around the topic so far. He says he hopes it doesn't drag on to the point of anyone needing a sleeping bag. Global dairy prices are up 1.6%, the vital whole milk powder price is up 2.1% and cheddar rose 9.7% after crashing two weeks ago. Global Dairy Insights Senior Manager Stu Davidson says growth isn't super strong yet. He says a key player wasn't as active. Yeah, unfortunately this was not a Chinese driven auction, this was actually Southeast Asia slash Oceania as well as, well as the Middle Eastern buyers getting the mess. To sport, New Zealand have lost the second women's football friendly against Colombia 1-0 in Bogota. Former Australian pace bowler Mitchell Johnson's revealed a text message from ex-teammate David Warner drove him to write an explosive newspaper column questioning the opener's ongoing test selection. And New Zealand Olympic Committee Chief Executive Nikki Nickel claims downsizing may be an option to save the 2026 or 27 Commonwealth Games after Gold Coast's bid fell through to replace Victoria as host. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.